65. Making change. People use money to buy many different goods and services. Money can be both paper bills and coins. All bills and coins have different values. Learn to recognize the coins so that you can know how much they are worth. You might buy some candy at a store. It costs 75 cents, so you give the clerk a dollar. One dollar is worth 100 cents. How much change will you get back? 25 cents. You'll receive one quarter. But maybe you don't want a quarter. Tell the clerk, I'd like two dimes and a nickel, please. That is how you make change. 65. Making change. People use money to buy many different goods and services. Money can be both paper bills and coins. All bills and coins have different values. Learn to recognize the coins so that you can know how much they are worth. You might buy some candy at a store. It costs 75 cents, so you give the clerk a dollar. One dollar is worth 100 cents. How much change will you get back? 25 cents. You'll receive one quarter. But maybe you don't want a quarter. Tell the clerk, I'd like two dimes and a nickel, please. That is how you make change. 65. Making change. People use money to buy many different goods and services. Money can be both paper bills and coins. All bills and coins have different values. Learn to recognize the coins so that you can know how much they are worth. You might buy some candy at a store. It costs 75 cents, so you give the clerk a dollar. One dollar is worth 100 cents. How much change will you get back? 25 cents. You'll receive one quarter. But maybe you don't want a quarter. Tell the clerk, I'd like two dimes and a nickel, please. That is how you make change.